One of you asked me to make a brief knowledge clip about the theory relatedness of observation. Um, so you, I keep it. I will keep it short and uh, easy by taking this uh, in one shot. Okay. So the theory relatedness of, of observation started with the psychologist Jastrow, who basically wanted to argue that uh, perception is not something like taking a picture with. Uh, uh, with your phone for instance so it's not merely a passive process there is also active processing by the perceptual system um, so for instance if you are in the dark in a uh, in the woods and there are birch trees uh, you might mistake um, some piece of white piece of the bark uh, for a ghost if you believe in ghosts if you don't believe in ghosts, obviously you won't make a mistake. Joseph was very clear that you then would mistake that, was mistakenly believe that it's a ghost. Or even if it's a face of a human being, you would then be mistaken in thinking that it's a face of a human being because it's a tree. So that would be the objective fact. Now philosophers like Kuhn and Feyerabend, they argued that because you need a theory to observe something, so they took it to the next level, to, if you need a theory to observe something, that means that without the theory, you do not observe that. And that brought Kuhn to the claim that within a paradigm, one might believe that one observes ducks, and when the there's a paradigm shift, so, you, so scientists go and uh, accept another paradigm, you don't observe ducks anymore, but rabbits. So what were ducks in the uh, paradigm before the revolution are rabbits afterwards. That's what he, he's saying. So how can you then say who is right or who is wrong? Well, if you think there are objective facts, then you could establish that. But if we don't have access to the objective facts, because our observation is theory laden, you will never be able to say that the one who thinks that it a duck is right, or the one that uh, the person that thinks that it's a rabbit is right, or neither. So that's very radical interpretation of the theory relatedness of observation, far from what Jastrow meant. But it is what Kuhn and Feyerabend claim. And that means that if you are in one paradigm and you say that is a rabbit, basically you construct this as a fact that it's a rabbit. So it's constructivism. So theory relatedness leads to constructivism. And constructivism is a theory about the facts. What the facts are, well, that's determined by the observation theory you have, which is part of, in Kuhnian terms, your paradigm. And that means that if you have constructed this animal here as being a rabbit, then the sentence, this is a rabbit, is true relative to those facts. So it's still adheres to a correspondence theory of truth. A sentence, this is a rabbit, is still true because facts make the sentence true. It's now a fact, a subjective, constructive fact that this is a rabbit. Usually we think of, of, uh, of facts as objective, right? So that's what makes this strange. Um, now, so this also means if you take this uh, seriously, that you cannot decide who's right or wrong. Never. And that means that it is both, according to Feyerabend, it is both knowledge that a certain animal is a duck and, a, and it's also knowledge that it's a rabbit. It's, uh, it's knowledge that the earth is 6,000 years old, if you're a creationist, or it's much, much older if you take evolution via natural selection seriously. Um, so this is quite radical and it all hinges on the idea that observation is theory laden and that this is so, so radical that you cannot ever observe that something is say a duck or a rabbit. Now is this true? So that's for you to think about. So what will happen if you think uh, uh, you chase a rabbit? Will it fly away? No, it won't. 
So, can't you make the distinction between a duck and a uh, rabbit if you know a little bit more about how they behave? <laughs>